I just spent the last few days testing Manus to see if it lives up to the hype. Is this truly the all-in-one AI solution we've all been hoping for? And are there ways that freelancers and entrepreneurs can use it to generate revenue? Today I'm going to show you five things that I think Manus really excels at, as well as a few areas that I think it falls flat. That way you can decide for yourself if it's worth your valuable time and budget, or if you want to just skip this one and wait for the next hype tool. Manus positions itself as the next evolution in AI, and unlike specialized tools, it allows you to create content, do research, and write and deploy code all in one place. However, that $40 a month price tag is a little bit steep, and it only gets you, I think, like 4,000 credits. I'm going to show you exactly what you can get for those credits as we explore if this tool can actually replace your entire AI tech stack. The first place I found this useful was what I call the impossible itinerary challenge, where I'm trying to fly from one remote place to another remote place and avoid a layover. I can travel out of multiple different cities and and I don't mind driving up to six hours at either side. So this was a lot of different variables that would have taken me a lot of time to try to figure out on my own doing Google searches, etc. So I popped this prompt right into Manus to see what it came up with. And it always asks you some clarifying questions. So you want to make sure to answer those as accurately as possible. Another interesting thing here is that it uh, collects knowledge on what you're doing. And it actually asks you if you want it to save that knowledge, which I think is pretty cool, unlike ChatGPT, which just sort of stores your memories randomly based on what it thinks it should be storing. I like that Manus allows you to uh, accept that, yes, I want to add that to my knowledge base for all future queries. So it worked for a while doing a bunch of different searches and eventually found really uh, the one and only nonstop flight that fit my parameters there, which I thought was pretty amazing. That would have taken me many hours to figure that out. I think it performed better than nearly any other AI at that task. So the next task I gave it was to create a simple script that would convert a CSV to a very specific JSON file format that I needed for my fine tuning video. I don't know if you've seen that video, but it requires this conversion. I threw that to Manus and I got to be honest with you, it took me a little while to figure this tool out. I had some frustration with it early on because I wanted it to just work. You know, I'm impatient like many people. And I found if I just kind of thought through what I was asking it a bit more, my, um, you know, ability to use it got much better. So this one took a little bit of a nudge, but it ended up working. I basically just asked it, hey, can you create a simple JavaScript web app that it converts a CSV into this JSON file and gave it the example of that JSON file. It went ahead and ran for many minutes asked me some questions. One other cool thing about Manus that is different than the other AIs is you can actually interrupt it. If you see it kind of going in a wrong direction, you can say, hey, wait, change direction, which is a lot different than the others where you really give it that you know initial prompt and it just runs. So the one that comes to mind is the deep research. So the chat GPT deep research, you give it a prompt, it asks you a few clarifying questions, and then it's off to the races and you have to wait for it to compile often a very lengthy document before you can see, you know, did it run well? Did it, you know, go off the rails a little bit? So I love the fact that you can interrupt it and kind of steer it as it's working. It feels much more like working with a true collaborator that way. So it worked through a bunch of this and asked me if I wanted to deploy this uh, particular script. And then that is a really cool thing is you can deploy this right to the web and share that with the world. So it's pretty cool that you can actually do flight itinerary research and build and deploy apps, simple apps inside of one tool. I got to hand it to Manus that, you know, that's something that no other tool can do. All right, next up, the data detective challenge that I gave it. I'm always trying to understand my YouTube stats in a better way. And when I've uploaded, you know, large documents of text to ChatGPT and other tools, I really find that despite all the hype, it does not give me very good data analysis on what I'm uploading. So I basically just grabbed a bunch of different data from my YouTube channel, one file, one big CSV, and downloaded that and dropped it right here into Manus, saying here's a bunch of YouTube data from my channel. Please analyze this and give me your best recommendation for action steps. Here's the key. 
key. You got to ask it and say, hey, I'm not looking for fancy dashboards. I just want solid action steps because one of the flaws with this tool I find is that it's very uh, thirsty might be the word. It's really trying hard to, to impress you. And instead of just focusing on those action steps, it's like, hey, here's a dashboard with sliders and blah, blah, blah. But really all you want is that actionable next steps to take based on the data. So I really had to steer it and say, just give me the action steps goes through that and as usual it asks some clarifying questions and then it delivers a really nice immediate action steps right here no other ai tool that i've found can do this that quickly and that accurately i've got that prompt and every prompt we're going through today in the cheat sheet here along with a bunch of other prompts and ideas for how you can use this tool i create a cheat sheet for every single video that i make they are all instantly available to anybody who joins me on page Patreon. There's a link in the description where you can grab this cheat sheet and over 125 others immediately. So that data analysis use case is super powerful and I think one of the main things that sets Manus apart. The next use case I call the creative block breaker. I've been struggling with ways to kind of update the design of the slides that I use for these YouTube videos and I just really didn't know how to go about figuring this out. So I did a little research with Manus and had it gather up a bunch of different slides that could be good reference material for the future design of my slides. So here's the prompt I use for that. It just says, I'm looking for some stunning examples of current slide deck designs in the tech space. One big thing about Manus that you want to keep in mind is that you're very limited in what you can put in that prompt. For projects like this, I've been really more accustomed to putting in a ton of information, like a huge prompt. Oftentimes I'll use AI to help me come up with that prompt, but Manus caps what you can put into the prompt at a thousand characters, which isn't that much. So I spent a ton of time creating these long prompts and that's where Manus failed more often than not. So. Think simply and then remember that you can interrupt it and add information later on. So this was a use case that I struggled with because I started with this really long prompt and this just went sideways and we went around in circles and it just didn't work very well. And I kept thinking Manus was not a great tool. But once I simplified that prompt to this really short and sweet one that I just went through, it did a pretty good job going out, looking for this research, again, asking those clarifying questions but then pulling together this zip file. And in that zip file was this index of all these different slides. So it did not only went out and found these different slide ideas, but it created a little HTML uh, presentation for those slides, which was really cool. And it gave me some ideas on AI tools I could use to create these slides and some key takeaways. So I thought that was really cool. It definitely got me out of my creative block that I kept running into for coming up with different slide design ideas. This last use case is probably my favorite and really is probably the one place that justifies that cost. I'm thinking about rolling out an AI mastery program in the coming months and I wanna gather some affiliates for that. And so I asked it to do this research project saying, hey, I'm looking for influencers in the AI space. I plan to launch an affiliate program for my AI masterclass. Can you help me find a list of those influencers as well as their contact info? I dropped that right here into Manus. As usual, it asked me these clarifying questions. It went forward and found a bunch of those people that fit that criteria and actually how to reach out to them. And I'm not going to show that because I don't want to show all their contact info here on a YouTube video, but this would have taken a ton of time for anybody to do, not only chase down the influencers themselves, but to dig and find that contact info. And that kind of curated web research is exactly the type of thing that businesses will pay for. I then repeated this process in a much larger way, and that's when I ran out of my tokens. So all of what I've showed you is about what you get for one month of Manus. Uh, probably a little more than that because there were some projects that failed. The projects that failed were the ones that you see a lot of people doing demos of these days, like creating elaborate uh, software. It just can't do that, frankly. I don't care what they say, just not, not in the cards. 
Also creating like multimedia type things. There are claims and even case studies on the site where it can chop up audio or create audio. Technically, yes, it can do that, but not in a way that anyone would ever use. So if that's what you want to use it for, I would say it's a hard pass. But if you're looking to do any kind of research that involves going to multiple websites, if you're looking to create, you know, simple snippets of code that work very quickly, if you're looking to create, you know, quick landing pages or quick HTML, I think it can really do some awesome work in those areas. I've got a lot more information about these different experiments in the cheat sheet, but then it dives way deeper into how you might monetize these services, including finding your niche, pricing methodologies, and tons of example prompts. If you're looking to add an extra revenue stream, this might be something you want to look into. You can grab this along with 124 other cheat sheets immediately by joining my Patreon. There's a link in the description to that. But I definitely want to congratulate you on taking the time Time to learn about this new tool. I've got another video all about how to use deep research for rolling out a high-end consulting business. That's the next video you might want to check out on your AI journey. There's a link to that here. I will see you over there. Make your dreams come true.